Qasim Soleimani, well, he violated a UN travel ban. He visited Russia and held meetings with the Kremlin. The Pentagon says those meetings were very important and helped accelerate the timetable for Russia's involvement in Syria. This looks like the biggest standoff between Russia and the United States since the Cold War. And don't expect Saudi Arabia and Israel to just stand there on the sidelines either, especially now that it looks like Iran wants to join the fight. Hundreds of Iranian forces have arrived in Syria in the last 10 days, and they will soon join the fight in a major ground offensive backed by Russian airstrikes. That's according to Reuters. So there is an emerging military alliance between Russia, the Syrian army, and its allies, Iran. And they are focused on recapturing the territories that were taken over by U.S.-sponsored ISIS. And now that the Russians appear to be succeeding in taking out radical militants inside Syria, well, we've just learned that the president of Iraq is considering asking the Russians to conduct a similar operation inside his own country. So now the Russians may very well end up launching airstrikes in Iraq soon. Wow. So there you have it. Call it what you like. To me, it looks like a preview of World War III. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Welcome back. Now we're going to get to your questions for Brandy Vaughn uh, in just a minute, but I wanted to give you just closing words. Yes. Um, so there's been a lot of propaganda with the pharmaceutical companies out there right now. So we're, I might, my nonprofit is launching a um, public education campaign to counter all this misinformation, to get the truth out there, to get you know vaccine ingredients, what people need to be need to know that they're not being told. So please go donate at my website, www Council for Vaccine Safety. We're going to really change the world together. Let's go to Shane in North Carolina. Shane, what is on your mind? Yeah, I just wanted to um, share my story. Actually, you, it, you were talking about the vitamin K shot, and that's that's one of them that you you, you seldom hear people talk about. My wife Baby's and I first had shot. Our second. Yeah, we had our second baby boy mm -hmm. um, about a month ago, and he 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 arrived a. Uh, a week early, my wife and I were already looking into taking the, the vitamin K orally. We knew that we were going to um, refuse the uh, Hep B, mm -hmm. but we thought we had a week to, you know, figure out which um, vitamin K we were going to buy and all that. And all of a sudden, you know, 
she went into labor and we all of a sudden we were in the hospital, you know, hospital and having this baby a week uh, earlier than planned. So then, you know, these people are coming around me with their clipboards and everything talking about, all, you know, like they do. Yeah. And yeah. I said, yeah, well, we're not doing the hat B. And then they're like, well, what about the vitamin K? I'm like, well, we were going to do an, uh, do that orally. Um, but you know, we, we thought the baby was coming a week later, so we, we, we didn't really make a decision. So I guess we'll just hold off on that one too. And then, I mean, they're like whispering and, sah, 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 you know, acting like it's the biggest deal in the world. Like they were making a bigger deal about me not getting the vitamin K than they were about the hat B. Yeah. They had my pediatrician call me. And uh, I mean, my pediatrician called, he was somehow affiliated with their hospital apparently, but but he called and said, "Yeah, oh yeah, you know, we're, we're, we just want to, uh, we just kind of want to know why. Why don't you want to get this vitamin K?" And like everyone was asking me, and they tried to scare like you with, a, you know, the they, bleeding like that could a, happen and everything else. Yeah, they just they really put that scare tactic on you. I've gone through it with four kids, and every time it's a different tactic that they use. This last time, I said, "I'm just going to record what they say." And then, you know, play it for the world to, to hear so they can build upon their, uh, you know, ca cachet of experience. So did you end up doing it or, or what happened? What was the final result? First of all, I wasn't prepared to deal with, the, you know, this um, this reaction from them. I mean, it, it freaked me out. And then, uh, of course, um, I, you know, my wife is not quite quite where I'm at with all of this stuff, Okay. Uh, the vaccines and, you know, we, um, our, our first son has only had the DTAP against my will, but my wife felt very strongly about it. Um, so, um, sh she said, well, let, let's just get it. You know, we, we have, you know, she got kind of scared into, you know, let's just, you know, get the, the K vaccine. And I was just like, I don't know, you know, let's just wait. And I mean, we, we, I mean, we can just get him some drops and I'll, I'll get him you know, sent within the next day or two, but they freaked out about it. So then my pediatrician called and I said, yeah, we don't, I don't feel comfortable injecting this into my baby. And he said, well, uh, you can, you know, technically take it orally. So I ended up deciding to do that. And I mean, uh, I kind of regret it hearing everything that you talked about, you know, being in, in it, but I suppose it's better to take it orally than to have that injected mainlined into a newborn, but that's what we ended up doing at the hospital is he took a, cer a, a, a certain amount of it orally, a amount that was recommended by the pediatrician. Right. And it was, and it was actually right from the vaccine. Yeah. They it just take it out and right. They do that. And cause they don't really have anything on hand and, and that's what they try to say. Well, we don't have that on hand. We just have to give them the, the regular one. And then with, with my case, they wanted to give them more down the line. And, and we ended up going to a compounding pharmacy, which are kind of rare. I found out, but they were able to make a really, you know, pure version of vitamin K for us without any preservatives or anything. Really, really nice people at, uh, at people's pharmacy. But, um, you, you know, know I, do you have anything to add? Just, yeah. yeah. I had my son in, in Holland and granted it was a home birth, but there was no talk about the vitamin K shot. Right. So this standard protocol that's going on here in the U S outside in other countries, this, this is not the same. It's not the same standard protocol. I never heard about vitamin K. We, they didn't even talk to me about vaccines. They said at his two-month um, appointment with the midwives, do you want to talk about vaccines? Some parents do. I said, why would I want, you know, to do that? He's perfectly healthy. Yeah. And she's like, great, because we don't want to talk about them either. <laughs> exactly. So I think we have understand. this idea that yeah. everywhere in the world does it just like the U.S. And, the, and here in the U.S., we do it far differently. And these things that they try to push on us as standard protocol in the hospital and when we're giving um, birth um, and with our children, with the whole vaccine program, this is not how it's done in the rest of the world. Right. Well, yeah, we lead the world with our vaccine schedule and we lead the world with uh, infant mortality mm -hmm. uh, in developing countries and developing countries, to be fair. In developed to, countries, yeah. In developed countries. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I still think we are developing in some, some ways. Yeah. Mike in Tennessee, what is your question? I just wanted to find out, did you work at the facility in Marietta, Georgia? No, I was a sales rep, and I repped Viox, and that experience okay. showed me that things that are on the market are not necessarily safe, and there's a lot of corruption behind the scenes. Well, if you ever have an opportunity, I know someone personally that works there, worked there for many, many years, and just walking through there and just looking at 
the procedures, the way that this is done, the way these things are manufactured, uh, you would want to think twice about putting any of that stuff mm-hmm. in your body. And, of course, as you touched on, have your kids at home. Keep them there. Keep your money in your pocket. Yeah. Uh, don't submit to these authoritarians who, I mean, they're out of their mind sociopaths, and anybody that would listen to them is just insane. Totally agree. I mean, bovine serum, people even know what that is. Uh, diploid cells, those are made out of aborted fetal cells. Dog I mean, that's kidney the stuff. cells? Yeah, that's the stuff that monkey kidney cells in yeah. the polio vaccine. Dog you know, that's the stuff they inject people with. And you don't know what that's doing on a DNA level. Yeah, it's damaging our DNA. Right. There's and they're not research. doing those tests. I guarantee you. Right. They're not doing those tests. They're going, are you getting sick? Are you dying? Okay, it's safe. Safe and effective. Let's get it out. Let's right, get it out the door. there's no long-term safety studies. Right. So, and the FDA often fast-tracks them. And a lot of people don't realize the safety studies that are done on vaccines, they're not done with the proper placebos. It's very substandard um, safety testing. No long-term, no combination doses, even though we give kids six to nine doses, sometimes more Mm -hmm. at baby visits. There's so much people aren't hearing behind the scenes. The safety testing is not like even pharmaceutical drugs. I mean, pharmaceutical drugs slip through the cracks. Well, vaccines slip through, through far bigger cracks. Canyons. Yes, They're canyons. slipping through canyons. They're just wheeling them in going, how many can we get? Exactly. They've got 271 new vaccinations that they want to come out with. Right. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's a totally untapped market for pharmaceutical Ugh. companies. Like they're looking at a pharmaceutical drug market that's completely saturated, a bunch of competition, high hurdles of yep. safety testing to get into the market. And then vaccines. I mean, look at all these disease states that they could come up with vaccines right. for. They're coming up with an anthrax vaccine, cancer, HIV. An anti-government never, vaccine. You know. Exactly. I would never want these things put into my body, dead or alive. They don't belong in my body. And they're 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 coming and that's it, what people don't understand and it starts in california sb277 is their opening salvo and when it sticks there and people don't fight back it's going to continue to move it's going to go west it'll probably go from california all the way to massachusetts and rhode island and those new england states and then it's going to make its way into the heartland i think texas might hold out a little bit but we'll Hope see so. yeah we'll, we'll see Thank, thanks for the call mike uh, john what is your question Yes, uh, Brandy, uh, thank you for what you're doing. It's uh, wonderful to, to, to have, see someone that uh, is exposing what's going on in, in this uh, Merck uh, industry. You said you were involved with Vioxx? Yes. Yeah, my, uh, they lost a lawsuit, didn't they? Uh, and um, my sister, who is a vaccine researcher in South Carolina, Mary Toko, and she does have a website, childhoodshots.com, but she's been doing, been doing this for over 35 years. She ran into an attorney there in South Carolina that represented the defendants, and um, they, they, he told her that they came out with the guard of cell to pick up the uh, uh, extra money that uh, they lost on the lawsuit, and that's why it's being promoted in, in, from one standpoint. But if you could ever get a hold of my sister, she would probably be very happy to hear your information. She's at childhoodshots.com, and her name is Mary Toko. Great. I've heard her name out there. Um, I can't remember anything recently that I've seen from her, but yeah, I've seen her out there. There's a lot of good people. Uh, Dr. Humphreys, Susan Humphreys is out there fighting it. Uh, Sherry Tenpenny. There's a lot of people really fighting this issue. Yeah. And, and it's great to see people coming together, more people like yourself speaking out. Well, Brandy, thank you so much for everything that you're doing with the Council for Vaccine Safety. Be sure to go and check out that website, get all the information that you're not being told. And we really appreciate it, all your courage. I know a lot of uh, families out there are really thankful. All right, well, that's it for the show tonight. Thank you for tuning in and be sure to catch us here Monday night, 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.